Stoop here with another episode of Help and Ensign. Welcome back and I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to cover a topic that I probably should have covered earlier, and that's an overview of the ship classes. One of the first questions an Ensign usually asks is, what ship should I use? So with that, I'm going to cover each of the classes, excluding aircraft carriers, and give you the pros and cons of each for both the US and the Imperial Japanese Navy. I'm going to focus primarily on tiers up to 6, though I might mention tidbits about the higher tiers just for knowledge. I'm not going to do a lot of number crunching. I want to keep this short and simple for you. This is a very basic overview to give you an idea of what to expect and to help you choose your path. So let's start with the destroyers. The US and IJN destroyers play very differently from each other. US destroyers have decent speed, are relatively sturdy, and have a good armament of guns. The guns turn fast and reload quickly, which makes them ideal for hunting other DDs. They fire a good amount of torpedoes as well, usually three to four at a time. Their largest flaw is that their torpedoes have an extremely short range compared to IJN destroyers. You'll be spotted before you fire your torpedoes. Careful planning is a must when using them. IJN destroyers, on the other hand, have excellent range on their torpedoes, which also reload very quickly. IJN destroyers also have great concealment and can fire torpedoes outside of the enemy's detectability. The cost of this is their guns, which are slow turning and slow firing. The guns are pretty close to being worthless. Moving on to cruisers, US cruisers carry an insane amount of guns that once again can rotate quickly and fire at a high rate. They're relatively fast and a few of the early tier cruisers carry torpedoes, though they are once again hampered by range. On the IJN side, the early cruisers are fast. While only a few ships in the US cruiser line have torpedoes, the entire Japanese cruiser line carries them. And again, range is not an issue with these torpedoes. The guns are not as bad as they are in the DDs, and while not as capable as they are in the US cruisers, they can still pack a decent punch. The IJN cruisers are somewhat thin-skinned and tend to be floating citadels. For battleships, in the early stages, both sides are painful to slog through. The IJN side might have it a little worse off with the Kawachi and Miyagi than the US, South Carolina, and Wyoming. They're all slow, with piggish maneuverability and gun reload times that'll put you to sleep. Range is abysmal as well, and you basically have to be within spitting range to hit an enemy ship. Once you get to about tier 5 though, things change a little bit. The US battleships tend to favor armor and have fairly stout guns, while the IJN battleships lean towards speed and range. A Congo's guns will fire much further out than a New York's guns. The US seems to have a tad better spread control, with less errant shots. It's not until late tiers that the US BBs match IJN BBs and range more closely. I'd say in the early stages that the Japanese battleships have a slight edge over their US counterparts. So there are the three main tier trees. In short, for destroyers, US have guns while IJN have torpedoes and stealth. Cruisers, US have guns, rate of fire and armor, while Japanese cruisers have torpedoes and speed. Battleships, the US has armor while the IJN has range. Both pack some decent firepower though. So which class should you use? That seems to be a very popular question coming from Ensigns. I recommend that beginners start with the US cruiser line, which I feel is the most balanced class in the game. Learn the basics in this class and work your way up to the tier 6 Cleveland, which is widely regarded as one of the best ships in the game. US cruisers will give you the best of everything and are perfect to learn the basics in. At that point, I'd either start looking into the Japanese destroyer battleship lines to start branching out. I'd probably, for the beginner, lean towards battleships, but destroyers can be an absolute blast. The last class I would attempt are aircraft carriers. The reason I did not include them here is because the playstyle is radically different from other ships. They play more like a real-time strategy game and you spend most of the time looking at a top-down map. So there you have it. Hopefully you now have a better idea of what the ship classes have to offer. In general, the US focuses more on firepower and armor, whereas the IJN side is all about stealth and speed. In time, you'll learn which you prefer. For now, start with US cruisers, master those Citadel hits, and the basics, and you'll be on your way. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Help and Ensign. Hit me up on Twitter, at ZoopGaming, or follow me and some other great DRMB gamers on Twitch. Zoop out.